This car here is the most important new car test of the year because this is the Nissan Leaf and it's the car that Nissan believe it will be the world's first affordable electric car. The car they think can start the electric revolution. It's rather apt that we have the skyline of the City of London behind us, because make no mistake, this car is the city car of the future. It could be the city car of today. It delivers everything you need, except for, as we've said earlier, the high price and the fact that the charging network is not there yet around all of the cities. But it will be very shortly. Make no mistake, this is the car that puts electric motoring onto the first step of the ladder. And within a period of time not too far away, this will be the electrical family car of the future. I have to say that the leaf is really growing on me from a design point of view. When you see it in a motor show surrounded by lots of people, it's difficult to gauge. But out here on the road in a normal environment, it's a dramatic looking car. Inside the leaf is a very nice balance of futuristic layout and yet plenty of standard things that you'd recognize in a normal car. You know, down here are the heater controls. This screen here is a monitor that is telling me now exactly where the nearest charging points are for the car to charge up, which will be a crucial factor, of course, when people are driving in cities. It's a really nice cabin inside here. It looks very smart. It looks quite upmarket, but it also looks like a normal family hatchback. It doesn't look quite like any other gearbox. This little round knob fellow here, you just move it across and then down and you go into drive, across and up and you go into reverse and then you press here and that's the park button. Couldn't be simpler. What you also get on the monitor is regular updates as to how far you've got before you get to empty. Here it's telling us distance to empty is 132, but I love this bit. This is the radius of how far you can go on 132. Then it goes on to tell you exactly where in that area the nearest recharging points are. It's all very ingenious, and yet at the same time this will also give you all the normal things like heating controls, your music system, just like a standard car. One of the usual problems with electric cars in the early days was the size of the batteries meant that the boot space was almost negligible. Technology's come on a long way. Now there's no compromise. In fact, this looks a massive boot. Very, very good family hatchback size boot. The rear seats as well both flip over so that you've got all of the versatility and practicality you'd expect in a normal family car. If you're wondering what it's like to charge it up, it's very simple. There's going to be lots of things like this out on the road shortly. It's called a fast charge, which will charge the car up to 80% of the full battery in about 15, 20 minutes. Looks a bit sort of uh, hyperactive, but you simply take this and you clock it in there. Not unlike a petrol filler cap, there's one huge difference. Currently, we're being robbed at the pump to ridiculous levels of money for a gallon. This will cost two pounds to fully charge this car up. That works out at about 2p a mile. And that's it, we're now fully charged. So I merely stick the nozzle back in. Click that back in there, that down there, and we're ready to go. I am convinced that this is a car that will make a significant difference. It is a car that's very much geared to the future but it's actually ready for the roads now. I think Nissan deserve a great deal of credit for having the courage to back electric to the hilt. I hope their courage is rewarded with plenty of sales.